Wisconsin herd guard Jalen Adams lit up the G League in January, averaging 22, 4, and 5 on his way to Player of the Month honors. This week, our Chancellor Johnson went inside the film room with Adams for our new segment, The Film Don't Lie. Chancellor Johnson for Film Don't Lie, hanging out with the NBA G League Player of the Month, Jalen Adams. Adams step back three. Oh, good. Cold blooded, Jalen Adams. You know, the last Wisconsin Herd member who received that honor got an NBA contract. Now that you have it yourself, how close do you feel you are to getting that next call? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to control what I can control. So I'm just trying to play my best basketball and hope, you know, it's closer rather than later. And you were playing your best basketball over the month of January. How were you able to stay so hot? Uh, I think just my teammates and coaches um, inspired me to keep being aggressive. Uh, told me to just be myself out there. And I got a lot of shots to drop in January, so try to build on that for 2020. All right, so taking a look at the film here, this literally jumped out to me. Fourth quarter, on the road, and you catch a body. Jeez. Walk me through that play. Uh, he denied me up top uh, early on, like the whole possession. JJ picked up his dribble, and I just got a clean black back door. So I was sprinting from the three-point line. He's a big, so I felt like I had to just at least try him one time. Now, you're six feet. That guy is six eight. When you take off, what's going through your mind? Uh, just try to, I'm trying to get the foul, really, but, you know, he gave me a little boost, a little extra boost, and I really jumped to dunk that one. So I don't think he was prepared for that like, like I was. What does that dunk rank for you as far as your favorite plays? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, that's probably about about top top three right there. This is definitely up there for sure. Where did you decide to hang that post up in your phone? <laughs> I'm gonna put that right on the right behind the right over the TV, maybe over the fireplace in the crib. Yeah, that's gonna be a good poster right there. So you've shown the ability to make shots from all over the court, but some of these are just ridiculous. How are you making these? Confidence, really. Uh, you know, when you make a couple early on, a couple open ones, you, you get kind of confident to take the tough ones in. When you have those days where the, the tough ones go and the, the ones that seem impossible, then you just got to keep firing them. You're going to get some open ones, keep making the tough ones, and then you're on your way to a good day. Is it, does it go off for you like, okay, this is it's that type of day to day? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it definitely registers. Uh, probably on that shot right there. Uh, it's it's going to be a good fourth quarter right here. One of the more impressive parts of your game, and it seems like it's a lost art now, is the floater. As a smaller guard going into the paint, how important is that for you? Uh, I think it's extremely important. It's something I really didn't have uh, last year. I really, really focused on that this summer, it was just you know mid-range and floats and getting my shots off over big. So I think it's helped me out a lot this year. So how has that elevated your game? Uh, I think it's just taking it to new levels because you, I can really score at all three levels now, I feel like. Uh, so, you know, if the defense is back, I can shoot the float. If he steps out, I can get a lay. And if he stays back, I can shoot the jumper. So I think it just kind of opens up the floor for me. So on this play, this is a high degree of difficulty. You have the big stepping up, and it's on the corner, so you don't really have the rim or the backboard to rely on. What do you remember about that play? Uh, it was a good pass from Frank um, on, the, on the cross court. Uh, he closed me out kind of tough, and I think I had just missed my last, like, two threes, so I wanted to get something going to the rim. But he stepped up, so I kind of had to float it. I had to just put it a little high for him. I got it to drop. You want to show me how you do it? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, Jalen, as somebody who has the floater in your arsenal, what's the key to knocking it down? Well, I think just taking your time, uh, making sure you put enough arc on it, you know, give it a little soft touch, and you know, kiss it in. All right, let's see it. Jalen Adams, your NBA G League Player of the Month. Film don't lie.